Hey guys, welcome back. In this week's video, we're gonna break down a very unique trait inside of Gaia GPS. It's a shapefile. And a shapefile basically is a way that ArcGIS reads information and plots points on a map to create a trail. One of the major hurdles that we faced, the Pony Express Trail wasn't natively inside of Gaia GPS. We had to click and zoom and find the little points on the trail and then map it out ourselves. When the expedition was all over, I was finally able to find a file which contained the full map available from the National Park Service. And the National Park Service is great because they put their maps inside of an ArcGIS system. Basically, it's a way for you and I to look at a map through a web-based browser and be able to plot our course on that map. And they also provide the ability for us to download those files. And then that means we can take those files and convert them into something that Gaia GPS can see and use. And then we can use those as a pre-plotted course for the trail or the route that we want to take. All the information today I have in the links down below. So we're gonna need Mapbox, we're gonna need Guide GPS open, and then we'll go ahead and walk through the steps on how to download and have the shape file ready to go. So let's get right into it. Let's go. So go ahead and open up your web browser, type in Pony Express Trail Map, and select enter. Once you've done that, you're gonna see that nps.gov maps for the Pony Express National Historic Trail. That's the one that we want to select. Once you're inside that, we need to scroll down until we see the GIS interactive map. And we're going to go ahead and select the interactive trail map viewer. Once the new box is open, you're going to see a web URL that you can tap on, which is an ArcGIS site, or you're going to be automatically rerouted to there in about 10 seconds. So now that we have an ArcGIS page opening up, you're going to see that all the trails on the left hand side that are selected are showing within the map. And yes, you can use this map to navigate, but it doesn't work very well if you don't have service. That's why we're transitioning everything over to Gaia GPS so we can download our maps when we're offline. So on the left hand side, we're going to find the Pony Express National Historic Trail. Once we found the trail, we're going to go over to three dots on the right hand side, select that and it's going to open up a new pop up menu. At the bottom of the pop-up menu, you're going to see show item details. We're going to select show item details and it's going to open up another page. On the following page, we're going to go down to around the middle where it says to view additional metadata and to download the shape file. We're going to go ahead and click on that irma.gov site. And in the middle of that site, we're going to see two files. And in the description, you can see that one is a Pony Express National Historic Trail GIS data shape file and metadata and that is the exact one we want so we're going to click on that so it begins to download while it's downloading let's go ahead and open up a few new windows and that's going to be guide gps and then we're also going to open up mapbox now if you don't already have a mapbox account this is a great time to sign up for a free mapping account which i also use the free version once you've gone ahead and signed up for the free version go ahead and tap on your avatar once you tap avatar it's going to open up a new menu and you're going to go down and select studio in the middle of the page we're going to go ahead and select new style in the pop-up menu that just opened up we're going to go ahead and select blank it's in the middle bottom of the page once you've selected blank we're going to select customize blank and this is going to open up a blank section of map so we can create our own map lines don't feel like this is over your head because we're taking this one step at a time once you have the new blank opened up we're going to go to the top left hand corner where it says layers and we're going to select layers after we select layers we're going to hit the plus icon once we selected the plus icon we're going to scroll over and you're going to see source under the source there's going to be a pop-up menu under the pop-up menu is upload data we're going to go ahead and select upload data and once we've selected that we're going to go over to select a file so select the shape file confirm for download once you select confirm it may take 15 to 60 seconds to download and this is where we're going to go back to the source right above upload data which you just pressed is source right under source there's a pop-up menu let's select the pop-up menu and the pop-up menu it's going to have various sources and the one that we're going to select is about to pop up uh, depending on your internet speed it may take another 15 to 30 seconds for this to show up here but we can see that our file just popped up 
and it is our National Historic Trail and select that trail. And then under the trail, another little menu is gonna open up. We're gonna select that. At this time, we should have a line on our map. So we're just gonna center it and look at it. Ooh, it looks pretty, right? And now we're gonna go over to the top right-hand corner and select the blue button, Publish. Once we've selected Publish, we're gonna select Publish as New. Once you've select Publish as New, a new box will open up saying Success, style successfully published as blank copy yay and this is where we go ahead and select view in editor so once you select view in editor it's going to look exactly the same as you just left it and at this point we need to go over to the share button uh, which is just left of the publish button once you've selected share this is where we get into the nitty-gritty of everything and we're going to go down to developer resources within the developer resources we're going to select third party within the third party section a new menu opens up so we're going to go ahead and select that menu and we're going to select c-a-r-t-o which is going to give us xyz coordinates within the integration url that we're about to copy so go ahead and copy the link and then you can close that window down once the link is copied we're going to go back over to gaia gps in gaia gps on the left hand side we're going to see the map functions which are overlays layers etc etc so we're going to select layers within the layers menu at the bottom of the menu. We're going to see add map layers. Once we select add map layer, another menu opens up, which is going to say edit layers. And this is where we're going to add a custom source. Once we've selected to add the custom source, this is where we put our URL that we've just created, paste the URL and then rename the untitled map source to something that you like. Maybe pony express trail. Number one, Wolfpack outdoors is amazing. I don't know what you're going to type there. Probably something rad though. And then in the notes, I just go ahead and put uh, my little copyright Wolfpack Outdoors, blah, 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 because it's super radical. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. I don't know. But uh, I also select preview on map because it reassures me that I'm able to see it before it goes live. And then we're going to go ahead and select save. Once everything's saved, we're going to see a new layer pop up on our map layers. And the new layer is called whatever you just chose to name it. I thought you might name it Pony Express Trail Wolfpack Number One Amazing Ya 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 Amazing Guy. Well, let me know in the comments below what you named your trail. Uh, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and toggle off some layers so you can see the trail a little easier. And then we'll zoom into it. I noticed that when I was doing this, I actually had to refresh the page. So right now is when I refresh and we're able to see the line clear as day. And it does follow nearly the exact point of the trail which is on the map and this is the same thing that you should be able to follow along with when you're out on the trail once i notice that i have the new layer uploaded onto the web-based interface for guide gps it takes anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes to cross interface with my device we use an ipad uh, with cell signal so we have the ability to run that gps signal without having cell signal and once it's uploaded to my iPad, it's fully integrated within our mapping system that we use. So the National Park Service has a multitude of maps and not just Pony Express Trail. They have park maps, campsite maps, toilet maps, trail maps of all the different parks in the United States. And I found that we're able to download many of these maps and then download them to the iPad so we can use them completely offline and just with GPS. Uh, and this is how we create a more successful journey in our travels. All right, guys, that was it. Thanks for joining me. I really hope you found something valuable today. And if you did, please go ahead and tap the like button. And then you can also subscribe to have more content like this in the future. I'm Austin with Wolfpack Outdoors. I'll howl at you later.